today we are going to a secret location here at Coachella. Because this is my first time, so we're gonna vlog the whole experience for you today. Uh, we're in the trailer. Oh, when something doesn't go according to plan, we have to either choose to re either resist it or incorporate it. A song may begin to veer away from our assumed genre. A painter might run out of a certain type of paint. A film director might experience a malfunction with a piece of equipment on set. When something doesn't go according to plan, we choose to either resist it or incorporate it. Instead of shutting the project down or expressing frustration, we might consider what else can be done with the materials at hand. What solutions can be improvised and how can we flow the redirected? So yesterday I was supposed to shoot the video on iPhone. They wanted it on iPhone, but my phone stopped working. So we just had to shoot it like on a regular camera, but it's like, hmm, like we don't know how much that made the video better or like, you know, but like I read this and I was like, big facts, big facts, yeah. <laughs> That's how I was sleeping on the plane today. I went. <laughs> I fell asleep. The only thing. Okay, now I need you to try it on. I need you to try it on. Okay, it fits. Yeah. Okay, now you're turning faces. Like, give me the VHS. <laughs> Hi, vlog. What's up? We at the factory right now in LA. Do you think it's too small on you? No, I don't think it's cool. You don't think it's too small on you? Got the new sweats. Yeah, this is the other small one. I mean, this, I, one this is the one that puff. I put on though. I don't like it. Like it's it? not like, yeah. see, it, it would be nice if the puff was coming out here so it would look like hips, but this is kind of giving like round. What is this? This is the other size, honey. Okay. It's too big. These fit me perfectly, but remember when we did the fitting, it was a little bit short on everybody. It was like maybe about an inch. It's close to 30. So maybe we just add one inch. They in the life of making custom sweatpants. We don't buy them online and just print, guys. We make them custom. <laughs> All right, time is currently 6.20. We're back at the airport and now we're gonna head to Palm Springs. One hour flight, but we did it guys. We're making it, we're doing it. A busy week, I just had a successful meeting with my agents. So excited! And then I just posted on my Instagram. I posted a little reel and I showed you guys like the zip up in the sweatpants for the first time. Okay, let's go inside, but flight number two. Hey guys, time is only 11.30. I just got to the house here. My friend, NJ, she's so sweet. She's letting me stay with her. Before I went to the airport, I bought this classic self-tanning kit. Because girl, we gotta get our tan on, okay? I've never really used this brand before. I was gonna just do it tomorrow morning, but I was like, stop being lazy, my stop. I like literally was about to go to bed, but then I was like, ugh. You're gonna regret it, girl. When tomorrow you have to do it, like, wouldn't you rather just wake up tan? And I was like, yeah, you're right, you're right. Eight hours? F***ing heck. Okay, we're gonna do it. Oh shit, my bonnet just fell off. Go back on. I'm so proud of myself. Yes, girl. Mm -hmm. 
good morning time is currently 6 38 a.m i woke up at around 5 50 this morning because i had a meeting at 6 a.m which, which is 9 a.m in new york time but i'm just figuring out the shoots because as soon as i get back on monday the next day i have a shoot and then another shoot and then another shoot we have like five shoots back to back to back, to back for the next collection which i'm so excited about but there's a lot of planning involved but this is like the, the most beautiful serene situation that i could ever imagine myself working in the fact that i'm here at coachella and watching the sunrise right now and i'm taking meetings for alchemy is like actually unreal so i'm feeling very 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 good surprisingly yesterday i was feeling a little bit overwhelmed just because it's a lot like i'm not i'm not an event person like that i'm not gonna lie like of course i love events and i not even of course i love events like i love the idea of an event and i love the idea of like doing cool things in my life but i notice that when i'm actually doing it i'm not enjoying myself most of the time and i was telling my friend the other day yesterday i was like i think i'm turning into a really like big homebody which is not conducive to my job me searching up if conducive was the right word to use yeah that was a good that was a good word <laughs> That was good. I'm really glad that I'm putting myself up here and doing Coachella because I've never done Coachella before. I've been invited before multiple times, but I've never gone just because I know myself well and I know that I get highly anxious, highly, highly, highly anxious at festivals, like at crowds. I've actually like not even festivals, like just crowds, period. And also seeing Indre was telling me yesterday, she's like, oh yeah, like at Coachella, you just see your whole TikTok for you page. And I'm scared. Like, I don't know if I could socialize that much, but we'll see. Super excited. This is kind of like the mood board. I, there's more, but I can't show you guys or else it's gonna expose the actual thing itself. But I'm planning out the e-com shoot right now. I just had a call with the girl that I hope to do e-com with. I just kind of showed her all of this, but I'm gonna read my book a little bit and uh, journal. Ah, Palm Springs. Hey, Miss Gal. <laughs> French vanilla, we've got caramel macchiato. Oh my gosh, it's like I'm at Costco right now. I got the sample for one. Mm. Uh-huh. What you thinking? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is giving Broken Planet X Alpha Mai right now. <laughs> okay, so we just arrived. We're gonna go pick up the passes. The line is not bad so far, but we're only picking shit up. But guys, I'm like a little bit scared for what's about to ensue later, but I wanna show you guys what the vibes are if you're coming to Coachella, because this is my first time. So I'm like, mm. and I have no idea what it's like. I feel like people usually only, hi, perfect. I feel like people usually only vlog the fun parts, but guys, we're gonna vlog the whole experience for you today. The wristband matches my flowers. Had to get so bony. So had to make it to the shuttle, see my grips up bony. Had to pull another tab in and scratch one off from this ad. Guest passes secured. Time is currently 10.30. And after this, we're gonna head over to Neon Carnival to pick up those passes. Cause guys, I didn't realize that at Coachella, it's not like you get to the festival and then you're like, you get the tickets there. Because if you guys don't know, there's like a bunch of other things going on other than Coachella, like a bunch of different parties. And all of these parties, you have to go pick up the pass before, insane. So you have to go drive to multiple locations, but we're being prepared. All right, location number two, Neon Carnival. We just got to the next location. We're picking up the Neon Carnival check-in with Spence now. She's about to go shoe her broken planet shoe, be a businesswoman, okay? I'm sitting here by the pool listening to Sabrina Carpenter, journaling, just... This morning I was feeling overwhelmed. I wrote my journal, I feel overwhelmed, and I just updated, like... <laughs> okay, guys! <laughs> and then I just like updated like a like just now a line later and I said oh I feel fucking amazing I just honestly it's not that serious I was just talking to Andrew about that I was like at the end of the day like we're here it's not that serious like the fact that we're here right now like no expectations I think that that's what makes me so I just still go with the flow when it comes to like doing things is because I have no expectations I'm just kind of like oh whatever happens happens you know like release expectations and like honestly the, what's so crazy is like whenever i go places now like travel or like look forward to go to an event i don't even like research what's gonna go on or like what's happening anymore and i feel like i used to be the opposite like i would always 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 do the most research watch every single vlog like learn everything about it i do that for other things but whenever i travel now or like do experiences where it's like you're not really in control of like what you're gonna see and stuff like that or like what's how it's gonna go because there's so many variables because for me i'll watch a bunch of videos on like renting an apartment you know, on the apartment that I want to rent because like that is like, you have to know. But for like experiences, things that are out of my control, I just try to like release expectation and like not even see how other people experience it and just let myself, you know? All right, it took a while, but we found it. We're headed in now. 
first Coachella. You guys, I got the mask on. There's no way I'm getting sick today. For the non summertime, tell me where I be. Oh my gosh, Make Sabrina. We're on our way. We're on our way. Sabrina Carpenter, I'm coming to see you. Oh my gosh. What you gonna say? We some more vibes though, man. I don't even vibe you. <laughs> you want me to be vibing? I don't even vibe you. Like, I just got here. I just got here. Okay, currently we are in, what is this called? Like a trailer? We're in a trailer. I'm fixing my makeup. We're getting some water, but. <laughs> yeah, some water. I'm getting some. Got me baby, more vibey vibes, more vibey in it, more vibey. Just getting bars in there. Oh, getting a little vibe. Oh, 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 oh,
sleeping mask on my face, like this jet lag one, which I think probably really helped. Now I'm gonna go in with some hyaluronic acid. You guys can see she's used up. I've gone through so many of these. I honestly probably use one of these once every like month and a half. I don't skip hyaluronic acid ever. Like every single day, I use her morning and night before anything, just because I feel like she helps moisturize the face a lot. And like in a lot of products, it has hyaluronic acid in it because that's what's like the moisture factor. Speaking of that, I'm gonna go in with the Laneige Blue Hyaluronic Water Bank. The nails match Laneige. This is like a Laneige collab. I need to do my nails. Before I do that, I'm just gonna use this all-in-one multi-balm and put her on my face. But to lock everything in, a little moisturizer. That's literally it. That's it. But look how nice the skin is looking. Okay, Miss Girl, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, vlog. Good morning, guys. Day two, we're stopped here at IHOP. We're gonna get some group, group, group breakfast. Family with breakfast. Family breakfast. Today is gonna be one of the yeah. longer days for me. Guys, guys, guys. Sup, squad. What up, squad? Hi. Squad pulled up. Hey. Vintage bag of the day. Vintage Chanel. No, because this is on? so cute. Uh, Show um, them. We got the vintage Dior, mm -hmm. the vintage Vivian, Ooh. you know, the baggy jeans, the Ooh. thrifted Montreal, you know, you know the vibes, you know the vibe, the thrifted hats. We are a thrift girly, yeah, uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Squad's pulling up, squad's pulling up. Yo, she killed it with the fits. Yeah. Oh, shit. Could I get the pesto veggie egg white omelet, please? And then, could I do the pancakes, but could I make them blueberry pancakes? It'll just be extra. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. The funky rain. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, so I'm not actually gonna drink it. You're ballsy for that. Did you try it? You're crazy for that. Yeah, that's fucking hot. Oh, my wristband comes in there. All right, breakfast is served. Family picture, guys. Three, two, one. It's currently day two Coachella, but I'm trying to get a tan, but I'm also in a rush. Did my hair. I'm now gonna do my makeup, but we have one hour left until I get picked up. Then, team build time. All right, it's currently so sunny, but we're backstage at YouTube right now. Just finished up a Teen Vogue interview. Girl, I can't believe that's coming out of my mouth right now. I don't even know. Are we dreaming? Wake up, girl, wake up. But we're about to, like, look at these trailers. It's giving, yeah, 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 Hannah Montana. Oh, I definitely need to pick here. Look at her. Oh my gosh, Miss Miley Cyrus, is that you? <laughs> oh my gosh, did we both do green eyeshadow? Yes. Stop playing with me, stop playing with me. <laughs> this is so beautiful. They just took us behind the scenes, guys. I didn't know it was all back here, and I've never seen this before. Look at these fountains. Oh my gosh. Today, we are going to a secret location here at Coachella. Come with me. I don't, I literally didn't know this existed. Oh my gosh. YouTube is always the best. YouTube always got the best budget. YouTube always treats the creators the best. I'm not gonna lie. And that's why I will forever be a YouTube stan. 100%, 100%, 100%. YouTube actually has the best events, always. And I'm not just saying that because like everyone around me is right now, like I'm genuinely honest. So I'm gonna show you guys. First of all, burgers, fruit, chips, vegetables. That's not it. They got grilled cheese, chicken flatters, fries. And isn't this a vibe, guys? Like, okay. Okay, location is a sleigh. Hey vlog, uh, currently we're behind the scenes right now shooting that Teen Vogue. So any tips while she's doing it? Literally insane. I can't believe it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Ready? Hi everyone, my name is Mike Dan, and I'm currently here at Coachella 2024, and here 
Ramen birria, which I'm getting the birria. Thank you. We're at a 24 hour Mexican spot right now. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Ooh, look at the juice. It's hot. It's nice and juicy. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is so adorable. 
Aw, oh, little family farmer's market sash. I miss my dog. I want to bring my dog here. Right, this is so adorable. We're currently, it's day three, Coachella. Yes, we're tired. We're, we're tired. So Shit's tiring. We're about to go get our family breakfast. Wow. I want to go to farmer's markets more. This is very, it's giving organic. Yeah, this looks beautiful. It's giving fresh. Mm, got that pork belly bun mi. If you guys don't know, bun mi is Vietnamese. I saw her on the menu and I was like, oh, kind of a vibe. Mmm, it's actually so good. Well, wow. little Coachella pit stop. We got some underwear, socks, and tampons. This is the shit people don't be talking about. It's when you just start randomly bleeding and you're not prepared. And you realize that you need more underwear to match your outfits. And then you also realize that your socks are stinky. But at least the skin is glowing. Glowing. Gotta leave. I have someone picking me up at 1.45 because we're gonna go do a Teen Vogue piece with fucking Tinashe. And I thought I was interviewing her. But no, it's like an interview with the both of us. Like, they're gonna be asking both of us questions. And I'm like, girl, you're putting me in the same with Tinashe and you're telling me that you're gonna ask us the same questions? But like, I gotta get ready and do my makeup in like 30 minutes. Outfit in 30 minutes. And we're gonna, we're gonna vibe out, okay? But it's day three. Honestly, how I'm feeling is good. Like, I thought that I would be miserable, dreading. We have not gotten one blister yet. It's forming. Like, you know how the blister bubbles up before it actually pops? Maybe that is a blister, but honestly, not bad. I have so much energy still. I feel great. I don't feel sick. I've been drinking my water. I've been wearing comfortable socks. Honestly, I should. I think I should make a video like how to survive your first Coachella. That would kind of eat, don't you guys think? But I feel amazing right now. Today's the last day though. I'm gonna fly back to LA literally at 7 a.m. in the morning. But the thing is, I think I'm definitely gonna have to leave by like 11 o'clock. Fuck, but Doja's at 11. Oh my God, no. Am I gonna make my flight? Ugh, this concealer foundation combo is so good. I don't think I've ever ran out of foundation in my life, but I just ran out of foundation. I'll link it down below. It's like foundation for Asian skin, but it's so good. Holy grail powder, the Huda Beauty, iconic. Literally don't know if I'm ever gonna switch up on her because she is just that girl. Contour stick, y'all have seen her a million bajillion times. The nude stick, iconic. Bondi Bell though, best shade, don't get any other shade. I mean, yes, if you're not the shade, but it's just such a good, cool toned. It's giving a oh, weaver tanning outside. Am I really using a piece of paper to cover my mouth right now? Yes. Coachella! All right, we're about to go interview Tinashe. Guys, for Team Vogue as well. I like, literally don't know what life is, but I'm excited that I'm getting this vlog up for you guys so you guys can see the behind the scenes because I don't even think that this is going to be out yet. We're too quick with it, but um, full circle moment, guys. I love you. Okay, time is currently 2.58 p.m. And I'm about to do a Teen Vogue interview piece with Tinashe. T oh, oh, not Tinashe, it's Tinashe. I on the deep dive of like all her YouTube videos. And this girl started her YouTube channel like 13 years ago as well. So I'm like, oh my god, twin and him. But um, yesterday, I was just standing and this girl was like, oh my god, like, can I get a video of you? And I was like, oh, oh. and she was like, I'm with Vogue. And I was like, oh my god, guys, are these fits giving Vogue? I think that this one's. Honestly, this one was my least favorite. This one was my least favorite, but then today, I had this bow and then I added her and I feel like it just like completed the look. And then I tied it a little bit differently. What else did I do? Oh, and then I feel like the hair really gives. Cause this outfit was like okay in my eyes and then we like, I feel like I just tied it all together. But I'm really excited. Um, I have no idea what to expect. But I think that's good though. Low expectation, low chances of disappointment. Casually, I don't have any expectation right now. I'm like, okay, we're here. 
we're gonna go home in a day. Like I know that we're about to leave. There's like no dreadfulness. There's no like running around. It's like we have this going on right now. Yeah. I don't know what we're gonna do after, but the weather's not too hot. Coachella's honestly been so good. I want to come back next year, seriously. So. Yeah. Hi everyone. My name is. Okay, girl, tell me why I literally got no vlog footage with Tara and Tana, but in Tana's vlog, if she ever ends up posting it, because we all know how Tana is, I'm in hers, and then Tara also vlogged as well, so I guess we'll wait for theirs to come out, but girl, I know I took an L, I was being a bad YouTuber, but enjoy these pictures. Canadians here. We're about to try this food. Lobster roll with this yellow fish tuna fin tuna thingy tosada. But mm. I wanted to do London so bad, but mm. I'm like, I'm really Look at how good this looks. This is insane. Juicy. Ooh. So good. Holy you think no. it's good? Mm. Wow. Mm. It is really good. Oh my god, that's good. I don't even like lobster like that. No. Like that. I don't even like eat lobster rolls like that, but I can tell that that's a good lobster roll. Wow. Good. Oh my god, it's like I'm seeing my whole YouTube feed page right now at Coachella. Me not trying to breathe in the dark. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? I was literally waiting at the golf cart section for a long time, and then I finally got to the front, was about to get on a golf cart, and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go home. I'm gonna go home. I was supposed to go to Thames. You know what the fuck came out at Thames? Justin motherfucking Bieber. And I am fucking pissed. Because I literally had artist passes, and I would have been this close to fucking seeing Justin motherfucking Bieber. And I'm not gonna lie, it's my first time saying it out loud. I'm in a house alone. So I decided to go home and change for Doja Cat. And I'm fucking a little bit livid, but I'm just gonna get all the anger out now through this story and realize that it's okay. It's honestly not a big deal. It's really not a big deal. I just am a little bit angry, but it's not that big of a deal. It's really not. I'm glad I came home because I was able to say bye to my friends. I'm just a little bit upset because I was this close to saying, but if I didn't like leave, then I wouldn't have been able to say bye to my friends who I'm staying with. So it's actually okay. I'm just like, <sighs> I love this song. In the west, I'm racking up on my breath. Uh, power on me, I'm feeling just like a Tesla. Too much tree, the smoke is making my chest hurt. Girl on me, I'm thinking I should arrest her. Hey, I'm thinking I should arrest all night long. She putting me to the test. Got a lot on, I'm trying to take out the rest. Couldn't know my lines, I'm sending them but the best. Hey, girl, the cutest that I see. So bad, I'm not using my visine. Gotta get it like Leon, and I'm not icy. So beautiful, like in my dream. <laughs> 